Wrestling Observer Live, Andrew Zarian here for Sunday edition. I'm a little rusty today, man. I'm a little rusty. I haven't done this in two weeks. You know, you kind of... It's not like getting back on that horse. Or bike. Or whatever the, whatever you're getting back on. Uh, a lot to talk about, obviously. Uh, I missed a lot of wrestling the last two weeks, but we got a lot to cover here. In the first segment, we were talking about all the stuff that, you know, the big story is happening. And, and something I added to the notes last minute, and that was... Will Steve Austin have another match again? And I think this is an interesting conversation to have. I'm curious what the chat room thinks. I'm curious what the viewers think on this because, or listeners think on this. Um, you know, by all accounts, watching WrestleMania a couple of weeks ago, the indicator was that Steve Austin's done, right? This is it. This was his nice, you know, swan song. He had, he had a fantastic showing with Kevin Owens. Uh, He did way more than a lot of people expected or anticipated, but he looked really good. But here's here's the question here, right? Will he have another match? Do you want to see another match? I have no problem with him doing these every now and then. I think it's cool. I think it it brings something back for a lot of disenfranchised fans, a lot of lot of uh, casual fans that used to be heavier. I know a lot of us, you know, a lot of the hardcore fans really don't want to see it again. But I think for a spectacle like a WrestleMania. Uh, it would it would kind of work on this, right? And and here's here's how I'm seeing this. And, and I spoke to a couple of people. Obviously, I talk to people at AW and WWE all the time. But you know, a couple of weeks ago, right after WrestleMania, I was you know having a couple of conversations with people, and I was kind of leading them in. I'm like, oh, is that it for Steve Austin? Are we done? Because by all accounts, I would think that that was it. And it was like a never see never thing, you know? It was almost like the answer I get with The Rock, where if The Rock is ready, we're ready for him. Or, you know, and that was the answer for Steve. And I looked up and I said, you know, and this was, by the way, this was a very casual conversation. But it, I'm not confirming anything here, but it was an interesting tidbit where I would think, you know, you have those Saudi shows, there's a lot of money there. You could tie in something. And they, the answer was, well, why would we do it there? Well, how we have... We have a two-night WrestleMania in 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 L.A. You know, and that got me thinking a little bit where these big-picture ideas for them is a little bit different. You know, their, their logic here is they're, they're okay with waiting way more than the fans are. And I'm, I'm a little surprised, right, because we always think that they rush storylines. They don't wait, but when it's important, they, they think about waiting. I, listen, uh, someone in the chat, Sam in the chat, Austin back for a full singles run. Let's go. You know what? I think that would be insane. <laughs> would I be opposed to it? I don't know. I don't think so. I think I'd kind of want to see how this plays out, but very interesting stuff there. Uh, I thought I would start off with that. Also, you know, we're seeing more stadium shows and, and it's going to go into one because this summer, man, they got a lot of stadium shows coming up between uh, SummerSlam, the show in Wales, and the Saudi show coming up at either very early October or very late September from, from the date that I was given. You know, this is a new approach for this company. And uh, I was told to anticipate more of these stadiums because it's not about selling them out, right? They're not, you're, they're not really looking to sell out, you know, money in the bank. But they are, however, looking to make it a big pay-per-view and potentially have, you know, 40,000 people in that building. What's better, 13,000 or 40,000? Obviously, it's 40,000. So I, I see this becoming more and more of a thing where all the big pay-per-views get something like this or... They sometimes throw in a big time pay per view, but I would imagine these these stadium shows are going to become more and more common for the pay per views, or or I, I should call it a PLE, a premium live event. 